Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm still surprised at how many of you accepted the community challenge, at least the first community challenge. And that was me standing in front of a green screen, and a lot of you took that video and remixed it, added your own audio, put my head in different scenes. Y you made videos off of this video. You accepted the challenge. And because I thought the, the response was so great, I figured we'd do a different community challenge every week. I got a green screen. I'm going to shoot a different scene. Uh, I'm going to try to upload it every Friday. And then it's up to you to take that video and make a new video. Do whatever you want to with it. And then upload it, post it as a video response to that challenge post, and uh, then everybody can see the fruits of your labor. It's a lot of fun, I would say. It's not a contest, just kind of practicing our skills, going to see how creative the community is. Now, uh, if you don't know how to edit a video that involves a green screen, you're going to need a video editor that supports a chroma key, uh, or at least the editing of uh, a video that is shot in front of, well, a green screen or a blue screen or anything that uh, is a, a solid background color that could easily be stripped away. I would never shoot myself in front of a green screen wearing this shirt because then I would be a floating head with arms. Kind of freaky. So, if you use Mac OS X, iMovie 09 works amazingly well. If you use Windows, there's a free program that I'll show you after I show everybody else how to... Uh, do a, a video edit using chroma key features, uh, or specifically green screen features. So, iMovie, Mac OS X, this is how easy it is. I shot this footage of Pixie. This is part of our second community challenge. I shot her in front of a green screen. And uh, I've got this photo up here. Now, I could uh, have this in my project area. It could be a photo, a video, or whatever. It's just a shot that I, I took when I was up in Alaska. So what I'm going to do, quite simply, is drag this video clip of Pixie down here from my staging area into my project area, specifically on an image or video up here. But the first thing you need to do, if you haven't done this already, is under your iMovie Preferences, under the General tab, make sure you're showing advanced tools. Because if you don't do that, then you're not going to be able to play along with a chroma key feature or green screen. So I'm going to... After I've selected the pixie clip, I'm just going to drag and drop her up on top of the existing clip. And I'm going to zoom in and just show you the features that are now available to me when I let go of that pixie clip. Uh, I've got the ability to insert audio only. There's no audio in it. I can cut away picture in picture or one of the last options, green screen. That simple. So I'm going to select green screen and now I've got pixie floating over that picture of Alaska. And yes, that's it. I've now officially, look, she's, uh, she's sitting right there in front of a static image. It was that simple. That simple. So, if you doubted how easy it was to do, well, you're just not that easy to please, I guess. Anyway, so you're more than welcome to do something with this Pixie video, not the one that I'm doing here, uh, but certainly uh, this is going to be a part of the challenge series. Uh, going to continue to do them, at least until people stop remixing them, and I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So uh, that's as easy as it is, at least in iMovie on Mac OS X. However, if you use Windows, I'm not leaving you out. As I said, there's a free tool available. Uh, this came to me courtesy of Lego Shark. Cinegobs, C-I-N-E-G-O-B-S, low-budget movie making in FX, free download uh, for, for Windows. And it has a chroma key feature in there, so you could, I don't know if it's going to be as easy to use. However, you could still use it. But this is, you know, it, to me, it's, it's kind of simple to just drag the video uh, from, from uh, well, the green screen video, the original video, into a static image or, a, you know, video in the background. And I'm really wanting you to do more with it. You know, resize the video, move her around, put her in a scene. Uh, be creative, you know. This is a challenge. How creative can you get? Some of you, very creative. Others, eh, you're going for, for the uh, low-hanging fruit. No matter, we will continue to do this every week. Uh, I intend on uploading a community challenge video every Friday. So don't ask in the middle of the week. It's going to happen on Friday. So you have the entire weekend to goof around. And I know, I, uh, I got to tell you, um, I didn't do this with my original video, but I decided to do it with the Pixie video. I... Uh, I decided to accept my own challenge and, and did one, then I uploaded it to YouTube a, 
a few hours ago as well. So it's I did I did a Pixie remix here. It's fun to do. See, it's it's a it's a blast. I just it, this is what it's all about: having fun and seeing uh, who's out there, who's really watching, who wants to interact, who wants to play along at home. Anyway, hope you accept any future challenges, and uh, now you kind of know how to. Oh, here let me. You can watch the rest of that video on YouTube. That's a video response to uh, the Pixie Community Challenge. And by the way, even after posting the second challenge tonight, we've already got 16 video responses on YouTube. Pretty nice, guys. Pretty nice. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you have suggestions for other objects I can put in front of a green screen for future challenges. Challenge me. You know, seriously, I gotta think of what am I gonna do next week? It's gotta be something different, something fun, something interesting, something that you could do something with in front of a green screen at least. Uh, you're welcome to post your videos or embed your YouTube videos at geeks.perillo.com. We'll be crossing over there as well. Uh, I plan on featuring any uh, really well done community challenges, or at least the, the ones that have accepted. I'll be posting them to my Twitter account, youtube.com slash, or I'm sorry, twitter.com slash Chris Perillo. And I may even put it in my channel, youtube.com slash locker gnome. Slash? Let me try it again. YouTube.com slash locker gnome. Gosh, hopefully one of you guys can edit this video and cut out the parts where I'm making mistakes. I like shooting live to tape. I don't really like video editing. And then, of course, you're welcome to stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech. Uh, sometimes we're talking about other things. Um, sometimes people are asking what it is that I'm listening to in the background. Unless, of course, nothing's playing, in which case if they're hearing music, they've got problems because it's not coming from me at that point <clears throat> hardware software services you name it we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day seven days a week at live.perillo.com we'll see you later